it's Sunday, it's Sunday afternoon, and it's uh, the perfect time for a dram. I was uh, out buying whiskey last night, and uh, I went into a store asking for some Canadian Rockies 21-year-old. He says, no, I don't have that, but, but people have been asking a lot about this one. It's a new release. It's called Shelter Point. And this stuff is being produced right here on Vancouver Island. Uh, it is an artisanal single malt whiskey. It's got the distillers, Patrick Evans and James uh, Waring, I think it is. And 46% um, alcohol by volume, 750 mils, product of Canada. It says here, sunsets and sea air, unofficial ingredients in every bottle. Uh, Shelter Point Single Malt Whiskey is handcrafted in small batches, right? On our family farm in Oyster River. Uh, shelterpointdistillery.com please save her responsibly return for a refund and there's no French on the label oh yes there is there is but it's in smaller smaller lettering than, than, than the English which is unusual because where I come from the French is always more prominent but that's what happens in Quebec so here it is this is a new release this is, I think, the first batch, uh, and uh, I think it was only made available about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Today is the 5th of June, by the way. Uh, if you're seeing this later, that's because I record sometime in advance, and then I put the videos up when there's been no activity for a couple of days, you know, three days, whenever I feel like it. Um, but anyway, here, I'm going to crack this one because I've been eagerly uh, waiting to try it. Um, it was talked about at the Whiskey Festival uh, two years in a row, and I think it has to do with the uh, Cavalan, something to do with ca the Cavalan whiskey from Taiwan. I think it's some kind of process of mature maturation that is the same. Well, let's see. It's got a, a little seal on here. It says Shelter Point. Uh, inaugural run, Shelter Point inaugural run. Yeah, so this is the first batch inaugural run. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this open somehow. Oh, oh, geez, that's an interesting cork. It has like a plastic, and it's 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 like a glass cork with a plastic washer. And it, um, this bottle cost about $80. The inaugural run, oh, this is like, this is special. This is like drinking history, you know? And this was the last bottle left in the store when the guy told me that, uh, you know, this, uh, people have been asking about this quite a lot, he said. What a it's an interesting cork. Well, I think I poured a, a little much. Looks like it's not natural color, probably non chill filtered. It's a single malt. So, um, what do I get in the nose? Let's see. Hmm. I'm getting some light colored fruits. A little bit of that
that uh, Applejack, Applejack cereal, a little bit of cinnamon maybe, a little bit of probably ex-bourbon barrels that they used. I don't think they'd be using virgin oak for this. But I'm definitely getting some cinnamon, cinnamon toasty apple jack smell. Light fruit apple, not so much pears. I'm going to try it neat first and then I'll Try it with water. It's it's a very it's not a very complicated nose. It's not a very complex nose. It's just a bit of fruit, a trace of cinnamon, trace of apple. Well, quite a bit of apple, apple cinnamon. I'm not getting a lot of caramel or vanilla. Oh wait, maybe that's a vanilla note that I'm getting. Hold on. Yeah, this sort of cinnamony note could be caramel. It's a caramel and vanilla. Oh, you know, first of all, to me, it smells like cinnamon, but then, then I'm getting caramel and vanilla out of it. Caramel and vanilla with a with a slight spicy note to it. Um, I think it's opening up while I have it here in the glass and I'm just trying it. Yeah, okay. A bit of cinnamon, cinnamon, caramel, vanilla, apple. That's about all I can get out of this. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Hmm. It is somewhat spicy. Quite a bit. Okay, do this again. Now I'm getting a bit of bananas. But not the fruit of the banana. I'm getting banana peel. Interesting. It changes as you go. That's that's the good thing. Lots of that apple and cinnamon, again. A little bit of spice, like uh, like pepper. Pepper, cinnamon, apple. Very spicy little thing. I really wonder what kind of wood they used on it. Not so much fruit anymore. I'm getting mostly spices. This is rather different. Mm. Now I'm getting some chocolate. I'm getting some chocolate on the nose. This one's evolving in the glass. Oh yeah. Chocolate. Now some more. The spice kind of leaves in the aftertaste. Now I'm getting. Now I'm getting caramels. And chocolate. And vanilla. Yes, there's vanilla there too. And there's still the spices that are like coating my tongue. Um, it's not bitter. Oh, 
man, this is really a lot more complex to the taste than it is on the nose. Mm. Wow. You know, it's possible that they did use virgin American oak because there's so much flavor from the cask. Did they use inner staves? I don't know, but wow. All those spices, that's from the that's from the barrel. That's that's from that's from the wood. I don't know what kind of oak they used, and I don't know if it's first fill or if it's virgin. It doesn't say anywhere. It just says artisanal. Uh, yep, handcrafted by Shelter Point Distillery, Campbell River, BC. I have to look up this website, shelterpointdistillery.com. Maybe there's some more in information in there. And if I find anything new about what they used, to make this, I will try and put it in the description. Oh man! Hmm. This is really nice. It's not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. The only, the only other Canadian single malts that I had tried was the Craig Derrick whiskey, which I don't think they have a batch going right, or there isn't a batch for sale right now. I tried that one what um, about a year and four months ago, something like that. And the only other Canadian single malt I tried besides that was the Glen Breton. But I tried the Glen Breton, well, it must be about 20 years ago, or even more. It could have been 22, 23 years ago. So I saw a bottle of Glen Breton recently in a store, and I didn't break down and buy it. But should I see it again, I might give it another, another try. Because, um, yeah, it's a Canadian single malt. Yeah. There's a... A big renaissance, you could say, in Canadian, Canadian whiskey right now that's going on. Just because there are a lot of small distillers like this one cropping up and making something different from the standard stuff that's on the shelf. The Canadian single malt, there was Glen Breton, yes, but now there are others starting to try their hand at it. And there are some very fine whiskeys coming out of the experimentation that's going on. Not only in Canada, in Scotland too, you know, they're, they're coming up with different kind of casks and different kinds of maturation and they're all experimenting and, and trying to make something new and something better. And, now that whiskey has become so popular in the world over the last few years, um, you know, I salute the whole process and uh, I'm glad to be uh, participating in the, uh, the sampling of the wares, shall we say. Um, yeah, cheers. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>